students in uh, today's class we are going to see about the introduction to control system and its modeling and types of control system so initially we have to know what is a system so a system is controlling the operation is capable of controlling the operation of another system so when a number of system components or elements are connected in a sequence to perform a specific function, the group that's formed is called as a system. So a system can regulate itself and also another system. It is a device or set of devices to manage, command, direct, or regulate the behavior of other device or systems. So here are some definitions given uh, for a system and a control system. So a system is an interconnection of elements and devices designed for a desired purpose. And a control system is, it is an interconnection of components forming a system configuration that will provide a desired response. And uh, the process is a main important element in a control system. So it can be defined as a device or a plant or a system that is under control. So the process is worked upon the input and output that is applied. So the input output relationship represents the cause and effect of uh, the process. And there are also two important vari uh, variables called as control variable and manipulated variable that play a major role in a control system. Control variable is also otherwise known as the output of the uh, control system and manipulated variable is the input that is given to the process. So here the control variable is a quantity or condition that is measured and controlled. It is usually the output of a control system and manipulated variable. It is a quantity of the condition that is varied by the controller so as to affect the value of control variable. And here the control, the word control means the measuring the value of control variable of the system and applying the manipulated variable to the system to correct or limit the deviation of the measured value from the desired value. So here the block diagram, simple block diagram of a control system is given. So here uh, the input or set point or reference is given to the controller. The output of the controller will be the manipulated variable which is fed into the process and the process will generate the control variable which is also called as output and along with these signals there is some unwanted signal that is generated internally or externally which is called as a disturbance. So there are two types of uh, control system so that is natural and man-made control system so here are the uh, control actions that is happening in our human body comes under the natural control system and uh, the machine the control actions that is taking over the machines comes under the man-made control system and also the major types of control system is classified as open loop and closed loop control system so open loop control system it is a control system in which the output quantity has no effect upon the input quantity is called as a open loop control system here the feedback doesn't have a uh, role in the open loop control system so examples of open loop control systems are washing machine toaster and electric fan and the another type of control system is closed loop control system. So it is a control system in which the output has an effect upon the input quantity in such a manner so as to maintain the desired output called as the closed loop control system. The examples of closed loop control system are refrigerator and iron. Here the feedback plays a major role in the closed loop control system.